Hi everybody, I'm Andrew Hutchings and I'm not a doctor, so don't take anything as medical advice. Don't do anything based on what I say. Uh, but I want to dispel the myth that anabolic steroids stunt your growth. Well, actually, it's not completely false. Anabolic steroids can stunt your growth, but they can actually make you grow taller, too. So what it all depends on is the estrogen. Estrogen causes your bones, uh, the growth plates, for them to fuse. Uh, however you want to visualize that. But basically, when your growth plates fuse, you can't grow anymore. And normally this happens through puberty, naturally a boy... I'm speaking about men, boys, not females, although this can apply to females. It, it applies just a little differently. But for boys, your testosterone is going up through puberty, and testosterone gets changed into estrogen. So that means your estrogen is also going up through puberty. So you reach a point where you have enough estrogen that it causes your growth plates to fuse and you can no longer grow. That's why if you go through puberty really early, you might end up short versus if you go through it later on. And that's kind of, well, that same thing applies to steroids. Some steroids get converted into estrogen, causing your growth plates to fuse, but not all of them. Some of them do not. So actually it's been shown that if boys who have not gone through puberty or who are just short, but in other, basically, if a boy has growth plates that are not fused yet and they can still grow, um, that taking non-aromatizable anabolic steroids can actually increase the final height. Now, the aromatizable ones, the ones that turn into estrogen that cause the growth plates to fuse, they speed up growth still. The only problem is they also speed up how fast your growth plates seal. So if a boy were to take, say, a lot of testosterone or Dianabol, something that turns into estrogen, he would grow extra fast, but he would not reach quite the same height as if he had never taken it because he would also have his growth plate seal faster. But if he were to take, say, Anivar or Winstrol or testosterone with an aromatase inhibitor, that growth would really speed up, but it wouldn't have that thing to stop it. Actually, you can grow too much, possibly, th this way. And uh, the way I found out about this is that when I was in high school, one friend of mine, he got this, I don't remember if it was marketed as a pre-workout or what it was, but it came in one of those pre-workout containers. And he was raving all about it, and for a while I had been kind of jealous, and like his chest was getting kind of big, and his arms were like, inflated like really blown up and i was working out extra hard like oh i'm gonna i'm gonna get bigger arms and they're gonna be more round and i'm gonna get my chest i was going really hard on the flies thinking that i need to beat him but he showed me his uh, workout supplement one day and i'm looking through it alpha something trianolone or something like that i'm like hmm that sounds like a steroid <laughs> So I looked it up, and it turned out it was a steroid that's structurally similar to Trenbolone, a really strong steroid. And uh, that friend of mine, he would later have knee problems from it and other joint problems. Uh, but he gave it to a different friend of mine who took it for, I don't remember, three weeks, a month, something like that. And that friend of mine started out, like, up to here compared to me, or somewhere around there and within I don't know a couple months but it seemed like really most of it took place in about one month he just shot up it basically induced puberty for him because he was most likely prepubescent still like he hadn't gone through puberty hadn't developed and it triggered it for him So, I mean, take that as you will. I mean, personally, if I knew this uh, before I was done growing, which I still, in my head, hope that I'm not done growing, but I'm 23 and I don't think I'm gonna grow anymore. Uh, but if I had known this, I probably would have, knowing me, acquired some stuff to take so that I could grow taller because uh, 
I think it helps you in life to be taller, plus, yeah, I'm not going to get into that, but yeah. So I'm not a doctor, I'm not recommending you take steroids, because steroids are very unhealthy, and I'm going to do a video on all their negative health effects. But since I just told you something really good about steroids, I need to tell you some bad stuff. Uh, so they, uh, at the end of the day, they've been shown to shorten your lifespan. If you don't understand what I'm saying, uh, you die sooner, a lot sooner, on average. Uh, from heart disease, from, I mean, that's the main one, the heart disease. And I, I, I simplified into heart disease because it does a lot of different things that are really bad for your cardiovascular system. I mean, really horrible. If you don't need to take steroids, you don't want to take them. Be yeah, really bad. Uh, also, liver damage can be kidney damage, brain damage, um, what else? Hair loss, acne, gynecomastia. But the real big one is the heart damage, and the cardiovascular system as a whole gets really screwed up. So yeah, if you like my video, you like learning these uh, cool unknown things, uh, like and subscribe. Oh, shit. Just realized that I am holding my phone this way. I got a new phone. It takes really good videos. And I like this video I just recorded, so I don't think I'm going to redo it. But all my videos from now on, I'll be sure to go like this. So please like and subscribe so I can bring you more cool information.